Well, good morning and welcome to Sunny Mead Beach in Aries Inlet. So I'm at a really sort of gnarly section of the coast here in Aries Inlet. You can see huge canyons, cliffs, all that sort of cool stuff. So it's quite sketchy, but also really cool, sort of overwhelmingly cool and almost too much to shoot. I'm sort of precariously up on a section of the cliffs where I could get caught in if I don't keep it on the tide, so I'm gonna have to have that in the back of my mind so I don't get cut off. Apparently the tide's not going to come in until about 9am, but I've been told that the app I use to um, look at tides is not great, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. But more importantly, try to take a cool photo. So I showed you guys on the way in, just behind me here there's this really cool sort of, I guess canyon, cavey type thing. So I think I'm going to line up a first shot with that, because the sun's going to be lining up and popping through right where the lines on the edge of those, that cliff is going to lead you up to. So obviously I'm being super mindful of slipping and falling to my death right now. So all I'm going to do is just with my camera, before I even put it on a tripod or anything, just sort of move around a little bit and see what's going to look cool and then I can set up my tripod to accommodate for however I end up positioning it. I can see behind where you guys are right now, the skies are really starting to light up, so I'm sort of trying to keep that in mind. I'm just going to use this sort of curve shape to lead you up to where that sky is going to hopefully light up. I'm thinking around this area just here is going to be the best. That way I can get some of these, this sort of edge in the front here as foreground. I can sort of, if I want to, I can shoot it both vertical and horizontal. So on these rocks, on the side of the cliff face here, they're quite sort of glary with all the water splashing up on them, obviously. So, as I often do, I'm going to put on my polarizer. That'll help sort of hopefully deal with those reflections. So I'm going to show you guys on this camera what the polarizer actually does. So that's about how the shot would look normally without the polarizer. And then as I spin it, you can see that glare, especially in the foreground inside the cave here, just being sort of neutralized and that sort of the highlights have been toned down on it. So what I'm sort of doing with my shot, you can see here, is just using these edges on the cliff as lines to lead me up into where that sky is gonna pop through up there in a few minutes from now. So about the top third of my image is gonna be made up of sky and then hopefully I can get some cool movement happening through here in the water and just time that right. I'm just going to muck around with the settings for the time being. Well, I've got a little bit of time left. So I'm about two minutes away from the sun coming up, I think. Um, it's getting quite bright and a little bit sort of washed out. So I'm going to put on an ND. So this is a six stop neutral density, which will allow me to sort of slow my shutter right down. I think I mentioned last time too, as the sun's coming out more and more, every shooting sunset going down more and more. You've just got to keep changing your settings to sort of accommodate and, and adjust for that. With any luck, it looks like the sun's actually going to pop out right on where this edge of the cliff is here, which if that's the case, that would look really nice. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up there, but the sky, or well, the sun's popping through over the horizon. Not too much cloud in the sky, which is a bit disappointing, but still some really cool color. So I'm down to three seconds F13 ISO 400, but I'm gonna adjust that right now actually. Okay, ISO 100, let's try eight seconds F13. So, I've 
switch over to do a vertical comp as well. As you can see here, what I'm going to quickly do is out on the end of that cliff there, I think it might look cool if I have a um, bit of scale, which is going to be me in this case. So self timer on the camera, F13, sorry, F10, 13 seconds, ISO 100, I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to run out, and hopefully not fall and die, try to about here. And then just look like a complete poser, dramatically standing up on the edge of a cliff. Hopefully that got a couple. Let's have a look. starting to rain, so I'm pretty in a good spot. So I'm trying for 8 seconds F10 ISO 100 and then just waiting for this water to sort of move, be sucked back out, and hopefully not sweep me away with it. And my feet are soaked. Wet feet, muddy jeans, living the dream. I think from there, I'm going to call it a morning and probably head back to the car. Pretty good morning overall, minus the fall. I guess the fall makes good video, so hope you guys got some sort of enjoyment out of that. Thanks again for coming around and joining me on this adventure. Yeah, see you guys in the next one.